So it's the mold that dehydrates us? Oh my gosh, do you want 30 seconds on that? Yes. No, absolutely not. You know, I was wondering why I was getting tagged in so many videos of this well-known charlatan talking about moldy coffee. It couldn't be that he's selling a mold-free coffee, could it? I'm shocked. He is. Anyway, yes, mold in green coffee may occur during curing, drying, and storage periods. It is a well-known concern that coffee growers have found effective ways to mitigate. For example, wet processing gets rid of most molds and mycotoxins. In addition, crops are discarded if they exceed a certain level. Roasting also helps to kill molds that produce mycotoxins and has been shown to reduce ochratoxin A or OTA levels by 69 to 96%. A European study looked at 633 final coffee product samples for occurrence of OTA. No OTA was found in over half the samples, while the remaining samples contained such low levels at four cups of coffee per day would provide only 2% of the OTA exposure deemed safe by JECFA, which is an expert committee on food additives. So if you'd like to buy overpriced coffee from somebody trying to scare you about mold in your coffee, you can go ahead and do that. Or you can realize it's not a real health concern and save your money. And instead, maybe donate it to families in Gaza that need your help. We're so close to getting Mustafa and his family to their goal, so please donate if you have the means. Here's the most recent update. The Rafa border is still closed and Mustafa is still on the list. Originally, the plan was for him to be in Egypt so that he could bring his family members over. But because all of you have been so generous with your donation. He would like to get all of his family members registered all at once and as soon as possible. We're so close to being able to do that and the faster we reach their goal, the faster they will be able to do that as we wait for the border to open. Please donate whatever you can. The link is in my bio and if you can't donate, please share, like, and comment. And tell me your favorite go-to coffee drink.